negotiating the next document, which is called the Local Land Disposition Agreement. That document will be back to you on. We're not approving that today. It's not ready for that. We're simply doing an inducement. We're going to hold a public hearing. This will be for sales tax of the River Park Center. Um, because this has been out there in the public domain for so long, I want to distinguish the two. H and I, which are the designations given in the master plan, are two parcels down on the waterfront south of Scrimshaw House, will be coming back to you as a separate project. We're talking about River Park Center and the Pace Center area and the developments there. The other thing that's a little the other thing that's a little confusing is, is when they went through the secret process in the city council project, they talked about the maximum amount of build out that they could do. We'll be back to you to clarify the, the components they're going to do. Today, we're doing an inducement on what would normally be referred to as the River Park uh, Center area. Uh, the sales tax, mortgage tax, and the property tax agreement here, we intend to establish a full tax agreement. There's been some press about this. The full tax agreement, there is a request before the city to allow a portion of that to be used to fund some of the infrastructure. It's approximately in total of $1.6 billion projects. first one we've done of that size, about $1.46 billion of it is the private side with the public component as well. We have representatives from the company and their council to talk to you about the project. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, members of the RTA. Uh, we've been before you before, if you remember some time ago, we briefed you on the entire project, what would be included in the project. Since then, as Sean indicated, we've been through the secret process. Uh, we've been receiving a significant cooperation from the City Council from the administration. Uh, we are in the process now of briefing the planning board on almost a continuous basis to every aspect of the project for site plan approval. And it's now time to seek the inducement of the IDA, which is critically essential for the success of this project. Uh, one issue, uh, we have actually made application for the entire project, including H&I. I, I misspoke. I was traveling the other day when we switched that, and both are in here, H&I and yeah. River Park. Oh, so they take off his jacket. Too <laughs> 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 so much traveling, he's tired. So the application before you this morning is for the entire project, including what we call Palisades Point, which is the H&I site on the Hudson River, the KK Center, the, uh, the Government Center Garage, and River Park Center. Uh, rather than uh, giving you a, a PowerPoint presentation taking a lot of time, uh, we'd like to just, with your permission, hand out a uh, presenta presentation material and then have Joe Apicella, who is the Executive Vice President here of Capelli Enterprises, just brief you on the uh, components of the project and the current status of the project. So, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, in the dead of winter here, we have a, uh, and notwithstanding the economic climate of today, we have a lot of enthusiasm. I speak for the Street of Fidelco Capelli Partnership for this project, and we continue to have a lot of enthusiasm. I guess because we've spent to date, according to our accountants yesterday, $27,535,000 to be exact, just on soft costs, engineering, and legal work associated with the project. We have not yet signed a contract of sale on any parcel of property, so we, we don't even know, heaven forbid, if that might happen. But because we believe so deeply in this project, and the beneficial effect it will have to the city and the uplifting effect it will have economically to the downtown area and hopefully the, the, uh, the uh, profitability it will have for us in a normalized market, not this market, but in a normalized market, uh, that's why we stand before you today. Uh, one of the things that I have emphasized from day one on this project is the need because of where and how this project is taking shape in one of the more difficult areas, if not the most difficult area of the city, the need for various economic development tools in order for this to happen. Uh, and we have, we have constantly uh, rattled off the, the various tools, the uh, Empire Zone program, which we uh, have applied and will be applying uh, to, uh, the uh, Brownfield Cleanup Program, uh, which we have applied to and have been accepted in for some of the more environmentally difficult cleanup portions of the site at the River Park Center uh, proper project. We're going to go through this very briefly and show you. Um, uh, the uh, Empire Zone, of course, uh, the, uh, the need for uh,
various grants and public assistance as it relates to some of the public amenities of this project, in this case relating to both the full tax agreement through bonding and the IDA, but more particularly as it relates to opening up the Sawmill River and creating a, a bit of an icon in Yonkers, much like they have in San Antonio and Providence, in terms of a real beautiful public amenity and opening up the river, you refer to it as daylight in the river, creating a tremendous river walk around, which will be a, a, iconic for this city, put us on the, the map literally. So having said all that, uh, all of the plethora of benefits that you can convey to us as you have with Macy's and dozens of others before you are what we view as uh, city singer uh, representatives, but for money. Uh, but for the ability to access this and this urban renewal area, difficult area of many, many years, 30 odd years of, of chatter about its revitalization, we could not make a project like this happen, particularly in this economic environment. So our banks and lending institutions are looking very closely at the kind of assistance we are getting through the agencies, including the state agencies. What, what I'd like to do is if you have a moment, I've truncated this. Mr. Mayor, I know you've seen this dozens of times, so I was actually cognizant of your, <laughs> your patience on this. Um, we could probably start off on page, uh, page four. River Parks. The project is composed of four major components, if you will, but the land areas are three. River Park Center, that's the Chicken Island area, and some ancillary areas that are private, pub, both public and privately owned, uh, most of which, uh, the, on the private side, we have acquired or have control of through option agreements on the new Main Street and Elm Street corridor. Uh, and the rest is city-owned either by the city proper or its various a varying agencies, CDA and the like. Uh, in case Justice Center utilizing what is an underutilized municipal piece of property, literally to the, to the south of us here, and the Palisade Point, known in your master plan as the H&I site. Uh, that would be primarily a residential development uh, with uh, about 10,000 square feet of retail. The daylighting, the aforementioned daylighting I talked about at the River Park Center uh, area, and the, uh, of course, it will also take place uh, in Larkin Plaza corridor. Turn the page to page five. This is essentially our program. And because this is so massive, I'll uh, again try to condense it for you so as not to take up an extraordinary amount of time. But if we take column one, if you will, that's the River Park Center project. Uh, essentially, again, mixed use, 950 dwelling units. Uh, it's a 40 story, 40 story from the base, from grade to the uh, top of the parapet, 40 story uh, building, two of them. 950 dwelling units, we have 100,000 square feet of office, we have 455,000 square feet of traditional retailers, and we have already begun in a comprehensive way to market to national retailers, and I will report to you today, again, notwithstanding the economics of the day, that the national retailers really want to be in this quadrant of Yonkers, because it is so underserved. And we have done a tremendous amount of trade area studies through economic research associates and the like, and they have identified this area 